Have any of you guys ever had tape-in extensions and when you take them out, you feel like you're bullheaded, basically? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Because I'm pretty sure I lost half of my hair in addition to what I had removed. You just let me know your comments about that down below. Thank you very much. What is this? Where'd the rest of it go? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm going through a little crisis. Uh, today I have another fashion to figure video for you guys. I know, I do a lot of them, right? Just stick around and you'll find out why. I love their denim and actually I have upcoming denim videos in the next week or two. Um, it just so happens that I'm gonna be focusing a lot on denim. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you have not. I have a lot of denim coming into my life right now, <laughs> which is good because we're going back to school. You know, well, some of us go back to school, I'm not. Although sometimes I think about getting my master's and then I'm like, whoa, Zara, you don't need another $30,000 in student loans. So slowly roll. The fall is usually when we, i like, this is just, there's nothing here. I just like, what am I, I'm about to go out and get an Ellen haircut and see if I can pull that off. But the fall is usually when brands start to release really, really good denim, their new denim, their new washes, their new everything. And I personally love it. This is usually the time that I start to stock up on my denim for the fall and the winter. And here, I mean, I wear denim all through the winter because hello, it's negative 50,000 degrees outside and I don't wanna die. So I am gonna start off with their jeggings, okay? So, oh, and of course I do have a code with them because this video is in partnership with Fashion the Figure, <laughs> duh. So of course I do have a code. And uh, the code is 115766, baby girl. And that gets you an additional 10% off on top of their sale prices, um, excluding like the clearance, red line, and um, the shapewear. So outside of that, you can use that code actually in store or online and it'll give you an extra 10% off, which is great. Um, it's valid now through the 28th of August. Oh, it's my baby's birthday. JJ's turning eight. So excited. Planning him a really sick party. So if you want to hear about that, follow my vlog channel. Oh, and there'll be a link down in the description box so that you guys can like shop any of the items that I'm showing you. Uh, but let's jump into it because it's going to be a hell long video. So I did start off by wearing the jeggings. I've showed you guys the jeggings from Fashion to Figure in the past and I get them in a size one. Fashion to Figure goes by the sizes like zero, one, two, and three. And then they do have denim that is actually size like 16, 18, 20, you know. So um, they sell the jeggings though in the zero, one, two, three format. So these are a size one. Yes, all my jeggings are in a size one. They are a plus size fashion retailer. So they fit like a good solid pair of plus size 16s. Um, and if anything, actually, they are a little looser than I'm used to. Excuse me. I'm gaining weight. Don't you guys go over there expanding your sizing, making me think I'm not. I know what's going on here. So um, anyway, they are like a little bit looser than I remember, but these are the most comfortable pants to wear ever. Now, I wore some, I posted a photo, and a bunch of you guys are like, I don't like pants like that. It makes me feel pregnant and fat and da-da-da. And I get it. So they are extremely extremely comfortable okay because they have the full-on elastic waistband on top like they're just so comfortable and of course fashion figure knows what's up they know that I love functioning pockets okay and I love a jegging that has functioning pockets because for some reason a lot of them just don't they treat them like they're leggings and they're not another little tidbit they're denim um, not every single item but some of them actually come in a tall and like you know regular length and then like a short length which is really nice these are a regular length and they are a little bit long on me and I'm 5'4 so I would say they're pretty friendly for like taller folks but like I said you can get a lot of their denim in different end seams to kind of suit your leg length I am sometimes a short or a petite you know what I mean but Sometimes a regular fits me fine. It really just depends on the one. But <laughs> these ones are a little bit on the long side for me. But what I was saying is that they are so incredibly comfortable, but I understand that when like something is tucked in like a bodysuit, while I think it makes me look really good, I understand why some of you are like, I don't like that look, I feel pregnant, because there's no buttons or anything. Like, I get it. it they're paying homage to maternity jeans. I get it, okay? But have you ever worn maternity jeans? They're the most comfortable pair of jeans that you can wear. So if you have a problem with it showing like this, they look great and they look like absolute regular pair of jeans when you just cover up the top. So only you get to know how incredibly comfortable they are. The rest of the world just thinks, oh, look at that girl. She's put together. She probably does her taxes on time. But I got this top. It's so cute. It's in a size one. I had to start the video with it. 
so cute. Okay, I can't try on every single pair of jeans, otherwise it's gonna take a thousand years. But you can get the jeggings in different washes, but in addition to that, you can also get them with some different styles. So you can keep the comfort of the jegging and add like, you know, little details like a lace up leg or some distressing or stuff like that. So like I said, I'll have everything linked down below, but let me get into another outfit. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be talking about Denna, but like, can we just take one quick little second? Look at this dress! I don't know if any of you guys needed to know that this dress existed, but now that you know, I hope that you do something with this information. I got this in a one. It is ruched, and it has like the double layer. I don't have spanks on or anything, and I really feel like she's making me feel good about myself. Thank you very much. Um, it does have this little layer underneath, and this is definitely more of a fitted layer it's not uncomfortable or anything and then um the ruching the mesh like ruching this goes down to about what knees past the knees just slightly look good from the back it actually has a zipper but i just pulled it on and oh it's so cute like the snake skin print in the black and white i love it so did i put on a yellow shirt so i would look like a minion maybe i don't know okay the top of the one egg it's real cute and everything it's cropped we're here for the pants, okay? We're here for the pants. Got a hankering for a banana all of a sudden. Um, these are the overall paper bag pants. I love <laughs> I love paper bag pants from Fashion to Figure, okay? Specifically, I don't know, they fit me the best. They're great, they're dumb comfortable. They have this little belt on them, okay? And it's like an actual piece of fabric that can open and come out and everything. And then they have these buttons here to actually close it. Yeah, this is like revolutionary, right? A belt, buttons, whoa. Um, but it actually like stretches like crazy. The waist is so comfortable because it's all freaking elastic in there and it's bunched up. So like that's the style, you know, it's a paper bag pant, but they're so comfortable. Like the name of the game is comfort in a lot of these uh, different like denim options. Functional pockets, duh. Are you tired of me saying it? But it's like something people need to hear. They're not super deep or anything, but they're there and they'll hold things and that's what's important. So obviously it's like an overall, you can wear these up, you can adjust the length, make them real long if you got like really big boobs or something, or you can make them real short. Okay, harder, <laughs> harder to shorten them. Can't do that one handed. And you can also, of course, just let them hang down if you wanted to and just um, let them totally hang. And for those of you who are sitting there like, well, Sarah, I don't want overalls. I'm not a baby, okay? I'm not a toddler. I'm not toddling through town. I'm a big girl and I don't want overalls. Well, guess what, my friend? They are connected by a button in the back and you can very easily unbutton and remove them and then you are left with just the paper bag pant, which is, like I said, super duper comfortable. These I got in a size 16 and they are regularly priced at $59.95 right now, I just looked at them online, they are on sale and then obviously add the code 1157.66 on top of that, they'll be even cheaper, but um, they're a pretty good price, they're a good quality. You know what I love about Fashion Figure is that they give you fashion. They give you fashion without having to accept the quality of like Forever 21's clothes, you know what I mean? Now we're getting into the Sarah Ray Vargas style of denim that we both know and love. I think. I hope. I don't know. I love it personally. But okay, this top, cute, right? Size 1. There's a pattern here. I wear a size 1 at FTF. Um, I actually think that it's a little bit on the bigger side, so if you have like more boobs up here or a broader back even, this would... Oh, what? There's a zipper? I just pulled this mug on. But yeah, it's a stretchy thing. How cute is it though? It's like totally asymmetrical. Like what? What? Got a little booty cheek out on the right? What? Okay. All right, uh, to continue with our theme of fashion figure wants people to have pockets because women have things, functioning pockets. Um, it's so cute. Look at this top. How cute is this top? How cute is this? Even if I don't have any hair left, like I'm still, you know, it's still a good look. I like it. Um, these pants so scream my name. So these are in a size 16. These are the Lycra pants, okay? When I discovered Lycra like two years ago in jeans, I was like, what is this magic and where has it been all my life? Lycra in jeans just does something magical, truly. So these are a light wash. Like I said, I got them in a 16. They're a skinny jean Lycra beauty. You see that tag, girl? Pick them up, try them on. See what you think, okay? Because that really, that's a game changer right there. They have a double button and then just your typical kind of zipper and all that. They're like a mid-rise, I would say. So they're really comfortable. They're like on the higher end of a mid-rise. Like some people's high-rise. But 
I'm gonna call it a mid-rise because if it doesn't cover, you guys know, if it doesn't cover like this little fat area right here, it's not a high rise for me personally. It has a good size opening on the ankle. I've seen skinnier, but I've definitely seen bigger. So it's got a, it, I would say it's like an average opening. And then the length is pretty good as well. Like they're a, just a hair long on me. So like I said, some of the denim comes in length. So like if it comes in length, I'm typically a short just because their regular length runs a little bit longer um, than some other retailers that I'm used to. Love these pants. I just keep looking at them in the and the monitor that I have over here, they're so cool. Like they look different than regular light wash pants. They almost look like a light acid wash, you know? But cooler. Ah, I love them. So there's no butt gap or anything in any of the ones that I'm showing you. Otherwise I would be mentioning it. So if I find a butt gap, I will bring her up. Okay, don't wear this outfit together. I think it looks silly. Or wait, I don't know. It looks silly, right? Cause the top is like a fun night out kind of thing. And it's actually a bodysuit. Love their bodysuits. They're great. But um, I love like how, this is thick. Like this is a thick layer of ruffle. Okay, you got Bertha's? Not today, baby. They are fully covered from the front and the back, babe. All right, there's a little jiggle in there. I can't stop a jiggle, but I feel like the top is like very much like a night out, like a fun dressy kind of thing. And then the jeans are like the opposite of that. Okay, but I had to show these. I was so excited when I saw them on the website. They are a triple button. You know how I feel about triple buttons. Like the more buttons, the better, but I still need a zipper. So they're a triple button with a zipper and these are in a size 16. They're like a light acid wash, obviously like a black acid wash. And they are a high rise for sure. The triple button is really just the waist part and it goes up uh, pretty high in the back as well. Like my bra's right here and you see it's, they're very close. I think it makes my butt look pretty good. The length is good. The length is gonna be basically the same on all of these for me. Um, and of course, functional pockets. Now, what I will say with these is that because the waist is so high for me personally, my waist is just a little bit like disproportionately small compared to the rest of me. Um, so it has a gap on this one for sure. You can't see it, it's not huge, um, but I can feel it. And the fact that I didn't button the bodysuit and it's just pushed in is definitely helping. But uh, you can you can see there's a there you go you can see the gap now. Um, it's not so much that I would like mind when I'm wearing it, but it's something I wanted to let you know. I understand the jeans that like butt gap on me might not necessarily do that on you. It might just give you the extra inch that you need to like feel comfortable. But overall, the jeans are really comfortable. They're stretchy. They're not wicked stretchy, but they're stretchy enough where you could get down and move and groove if you needed to. You know what I'm saying? I might have just pulled my groin right now. Let me stop playing. <laughs> Look at this shirt. It's so cute. When I saw it on the website, I was like, okay, I have to have that shirt. So do you guys ever see something where it's really not your style? It's not something that you would ever necessarily pick out for yourself or like have in your closet, but you just love how it looks? That's what this shirt was for me. When I saw it on the website, I was like, oh, I want that in my home. And I have it and it's cute and I like it but it's not my style. It's not something I could see myself actually reaching for, but it's so damn cute. <gasps> you know what would be great? If it came in like a khaki color too? Ugh, that feels, maybe it would be even more my style. Cause with the green, obviously it's very much paying homage to like the whole military, everything here, you know what I'm saying? But I do love it and it's, um, <laughs> I do love how cute it is though. Like, and if you have a little bit more of a belly, then this is probably going to be very friendly to that. Cause there are actually some pleats here on the side so it allows for more room in the stomach area. And then the off the shoulder, you guys know I have big arms and neither one of them is, this one looks like it's tight, but it, it's actually fine. I think it's basically just the perfect fit. Got it in a size one and it's pretty long. It actually gets a little bit longer. It covers the whole booty in case you're doing it with like a legging style. Now let's get into the jeans. These are my least favorite kind of jeans. These are jeans that I would call them just, they're just jeans. Like, they don't have lycra in them. They don't have a billion buttons. They're kind of your basic everyday kind of pair of jeans, except they have some destruction in them. They are a skinnier jean. However, if you can see, I don't know if you can tell, this is actually cuffed. So it's a high cuff. This is where the cuff is. And that's not my style because I'm not tall enough for this to be my style. I've never been a big cuffed girl to begin with. Um, but overall, it's a mid-rise jean. It fits like a mid-rise jean. There's no anything, there's literally nothing to complain about. They're just not like 
my dream jean you know what i mean so if you guys are looking for a black pair of jeans and you want one that's distressed and you want it to be hella comfortable and have a little bit extra jazz and flair like i like in my denim then i highly would recommend the jeggings in their black distressed versions because these these my friends these are good these are these are good to go these have my name written all over them in every font okay i just wanted to show you this shirt really quick i really thought i was gonna like it but i feel stupid and i don't want to wear it anymore but i just wanted to show you because i still think it's cute i just think i look like a dummy so be right back with a new shirt okay i switched it for this one how weird is this one this is weird i, w I didn't know what i was expecting i saw this on the website i mean i picked out on everything very comfortable here for the arms i mean as long as they're having a good time i'm having a good time uh but there's a like a what is this called? A collar. I had to say in my mind, pop your collar for some reason. It's a collar. And then it like really comes together. It has a stretchy like waist on it. And then it flows out. It's very freeing. It's very open. It's just... Feels like I'm wearing a sheet. It's so weird. It's so comfortable. But like... It... I can't breathe. Maybe <laughs> that's better. Did I just need some skin? I don't know. I don't wear collared stuff. This is freaking me out. I have like a love hate with this shirt right now because it feels so good. But then like, why is there a collar? It's freaking me out. You know those Instagram things where someone's like, I bought an oversized men's shirt and then I freaked it. Someone freaked this shirt. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, here to talk about the pants. The difference between these little skinny jeans and some of the others that I've showed you is that these are in the length short. My friends, do you see where they're hitting me? They don't bunch up the way that the other ones did. I mean, they have like a very slight bunch like any pair of jeans pretty much does on me, but um, they don't bunch up like the other ones did. They are a perfect length for me. These are like a nice, good, kind of your everyday basic pair of jeans. Functional pockets, duh, they're size 16. And oh, look I kind of like when they're a little low in the back. Okay, let me cover that. Okay. Okay. I grew up in the Britney and Christina days, you know, like watching TRL at 3 o'clock, like the top 10 countdown. This was real for me. Is it going to be Nelly? Is it going to be Britney? I don't know. And like when they would come out with their little low rise everything, you know how badly I wish I could make that look good? Low rise on me would just be my belly's hanging over the top like Uncle Charlie. You know what I mean? Like... That would have been cute. So I do kind of love it. Plus I have a really low butt crack. Not if you guys, you know, you don't really need to know that, but that is clutch in the situation. I love it when jeans are a little bit on the lower end in the back. Like, hello, exposure. Okay, you're lucky I don't have like a lower back tattoo or anything. I'll be showing that off. Did you know, we searched this the other day, that like 40% or something of Americans now, I think over 30, I'm mess. I'm butchering the whole statistic. They have a tattoo. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I don't have any tattoos. Do you have tattoos? Let's just create our own statistic in the comments. Okay, I put this ruffle top on so I can put this jacket on. Don't wear this outfit together. I beg of thine. When I did the makeover thing with the gals, what's up ladies? When we did that at the fashion and figure store in Chicago Ridge, I think, um, <laughs> the girl that was managing everything for us, she had on the denim version of this, like the full on like denim, like jeans denim. And I was like, where's that from? And she's like, it's from here, girl. And I was like, what? Look at you representing. It's so damn cute. I think it's on the website still. So then I saw this camo version and I was like, excuse me, long jackets. Hello. Is, can I, can this be me? Can I be a person who wears jackets like this? I don't know. I don't do it yet. You, are there no? Red alert. Red alert. I cannot find a pocket down here. Okay. Let me just make sure. All right. There's, <clears throat> don't be alarmed. There are pockets up here. However, oh, don't forget, their jeans always have pockets. So I guess that actually kind of works out for me. But this is a super cute jacket. Um, I'll, full disclosure here, my arms fit perfectly. Feels real good. Got no problems. <laughs> Did anybody used to do Tybo back in the day? Because I was like, yeah. And then he was like, double time go. And I'm, oh, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Full disclosure, it doesn't close. It's, it's not going to go around my butt. It's not going to close around my butt. However, I don't close jackets like this. I'm not trying to look like Inspector Gadget walking around with a freaking trench coat closed all the way down. Um, so I bought it just to fit my... Feels weird to have pockets on there. To, <laughs> to fit my uh, arms and like my length well. So size one fits me great. Oh, and then these jeans are just like the other light ones that I showed you with the 
lycra in them. All you need is lycra, girl. That's all you need. Put a little lycra in your life. Psh, you're set. You're good. You're good to go. Credit score is going to increase. All good things are going to happen for you. Booty looks good. Height is perfect. It's a nice, like, high mid-rise, in my opinion. Um, they might call it a mid or a high-rise. I'm not sure. But double button. Everything going for it that I could possibly need in life. One more time, too. The jeans I have on right now, ma'am, the ones I showed you a little bit ago, they also come in this very nice little dark blue color. I don't like this color. It's not my favorite. I don't like when it doesn't have any uh, breakup of the color. Just me personally. This is just a preference. But um, I know it's a very popular color, and I know people do like a nice solid blue jean. There's a time and a place for it. It's just not in my house or in my life. However, it's the same fit, the same sizing and everything on these ones. Options. If you want options, fashion figures got them. <laughs> I wasn't recording. I just went through a whole spiel about how much I love these pants. So let's start again. These are the tie front high rise jeans. These are different than the other ones, the other ones, because those ones were the overalls and those ones had buttons. Ain't all the buttons on these jeans. It's just a zipper. The zipper stays up. I just, you know, yoga lotties in here a second ago just so I could test it out the zipper stays up it's got this little tie here again denim and see this is that darker blue wash but this one has just a little hint of something so I really like them they have like a little bit of this wispy kind of coloring here on the belly like where's the belly line I don't know where'd it go <laughs> wait let me tuck my tags into the pocket uh, you like that? That was slick, right? Um, there's even pockets on the booty. Back looks good. The side looks good. They feel super good. They are, again, that basically that same regular length on me. I don't even care, though, because these are so damn comfortable. It's got this cute little bell, you guys. It is so... These are so cute. They are so comfortable. How do they do this? How do you make jeans feel this good? Definitely a high rise on them. A good high rise though that when I sit, I don't feel like I'm gonna start to feel suffocated. You know, sometimes if, if it's snug on your waist, like there are organs in here. Hold on, my boyfriend's buying my coffee and he might have questions. They don't got the big ones, they got the smaller ones. It, coffee. In the chocolate flavor? They don't have any of the big ones? No, it's okay. It's not, I mean, it's not it's that not, serious. This one is not too sweet. It's not too coffee. It's not, it's called not too sweet. The other one they got is, uh, they got the iced Starbucks coffee. No, oh. that one's gross. Just give me one, one of the small not too sweet ones. Oh, I'll, I'll, I can go today and get it. No, it's uh, alright. Yeah, you don't gotta go to multiple grocery stores. I'll get it. I mean, if you want a coffee, I'll get it. No, it's alright. I'm sure I have something I can figure out down there. Dude. Dude. <laughs> if you want, I'm getting it. If you want it, I'm getting it. <laughs> okay, well, get the chocolate one then. Alright. Alright, bye. Or two. Uh, just get two. Let's just, let's just stop playing these games. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Bye. Ah, I love that guy. He's the best. Okay. <laughs> Where was I? These jeans. These are the best jeans. I'm gonna end the video on these jeans. Damn it, I wanna try on this dress though. It's so cute. You guys, follow me. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna fit me so good. Oh, and this shirt is in a one, a one. I'm gonna say one X. It's in a size one. It is a crop shirt. It goes to about right here. How freaking cute. It's like a little sweatery material. Like your girl's feeling like fall. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so cute together from the back. Like, makes my waist look little. Guys, fashion a figure, you did it again, girl. I know there's not an actual girl named fashion a figure, but I bet there are girls in the world named fashion. Are any of you named fashion? When I was growing up, I, all these tangents. When I was growing up, I thought it was so funny that I knew people named tequila and margarita and what was the other one? Hennessy. I was like, damn, we got the, the whole bar is here. Anyway, oh, this is so damn cute. Let me just. Let me just be crazy. This dress is so cute, especially with this shirt, right? And these jeans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anyone who... This is how I gotta start trying stuff on so that people stop stealing my photos and trying to sell people the wrong products and trying to like use a photo of me and then a photo of someone that's 100 pounds and saying, I lost 150 pounds by buying this weird thing from like India or China or something like I really gotta, this is how I gotta represent. What's up? 
You telling me that you have this outfit, this exact same outfit, on your seventh party website? You telling me you got this? Okay. Oh, you know what would be? Oh no 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 no. Never mind. I was about to say something stupid. I was gonna say this would be one of those dresses that would look good with like a turtleneck under it, like for the fall time. But I take it back because these openings would probably look dumb with a turtleneck. But I do love those layering dresses. Those are really cute. So this was really 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 cute though. All right, guys. That that's all I have for you. Was that enough? That felt like a lot of things. Um, don't forget you can use that code 115766 either in store or online and it'll give you an additional 10% off on top of the sale prices excluding the clearance and the shapewear um, and it's pretty much like there's always pretty much a sale going on so you're gonna get a little extra dollars off it's gonna be great I have a bunch of videos coming for you guys I'm so excited like I mentioned that prom video is gonna go live on my vlog channel on Sunday um, I decided not to put it on this channel just because I have so so much coming. I'm actually I'm gonna have so many videos that I don't want to overdo it on this channel. Not that I don't overdo it on the vlog channel with new videos Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. I don't know how I've been doing it. I'm gonna fizzle out soon so go watch while I'm still alive and able to function. So anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.